Researchers found a superbug in the Arctic that's resistant to the most powerful antibiotic we currently possess. Some are saying that this super virus could wipe out humanity. So yeah, you guys hear of any good news today? Because I definitely need some right now. Welcome back to Inform Overload, the channel that simultaneously gives you anxiety and also keeps you informed. I'm Charlotte Dobre, why don't you hit that subscribe and stick around to the end of the video where we respond to users comments. Just a few days ago, the World Economic Forum warned that antimicrobial resistance is a global global health emergency, more dire than climate change or war, and now it seems experts are finding this to be true. Samples that were taken from the soil in Svalbard and tested contained drug resistant genes. Svalbard is a Norwegian archipelago in the Arctic Circle. It's north of mainland Europe and halfway between Norway and the North Pole. Svalbard is mostly inhospitable to humans, which is a good thing considering a huge chunk of its soil contains a drug resistant superbug. The genes are called BLA NDM. One, and they are being carefully watched by experts because they could potentially spread around the world and wipe out millions in the process. This is because the bacteria appears to be completely resistant to antibiotics, the strongest antibiotics that we currently have, called carpapenems. Carpapenems are usually only used as a last resort if nothing else works to treat an infection. This is pretty concerning because if this super virus happened to make its way out into the world, very little could be done about it. I mean, it's pretty crazy to think that the fact that a century ago there were no such thing as antibiotics. You could die from the common cold or the flu quite easily, let alone a drug resistant super virus. This is especially concerning for developing nations around the world where the healthcare is not up to par with the rest of the globe. These types of super genes were first observed in 2008 when a Swedish patient of Indian origin traveled to India. The genes were then detected in surface water on Delhi streets two years later in 2010. But other than that, they've never been found outside clinical controlled environments like hospitals and definitely not thousands of miles away in polar regions. And yet BLA NDM-1 was found in more than 60% of the soil cores in the study. So how did this bacteria end up in the Arctic? Researchers at Newcastle University believe they know where the bacteria came from. Instead of originating in northern areas like the Arctic, they might have come from the droppings of migrating birds that fell on the ice. Svalbard is a breeding ground for many different types of seabirds. The bacteria could have also come from humans, which is kind of confusing because Polar areas are some of the last areas on earth with minimal human impact, especially a place like Svalbard where you definitely wouldn't want to go on a vacation. The islands of Svalbard were first used as a whaling base in the 17th and 18th centuries but were then abandoned. There are a few permanent communities but there are no roads to connect them. Residents have to travel by snowmobiles, aircraft and boats. But that doesn't mean it's not possible for viruses to spread thousands of miles. Poor sanitation in the developing world causes the spread of bugs to even the most remote areas that are otherwise sanitary. It actually might be the fault of humans that these super viruses are being created in the first place. Antibiotics being used inappropriately are likely causing the rise of superbugs. The use of antibiotics to fight infections in humans, on which they have no effect, and also using antibiotics in livestock production causes the antibiotics to enter the food chain through runoff. The superbugs are then created because they've had a chance to mingle with those antibiotics when they otherwise wouldn't have, causing them to be drug resistant. According to David Grant, who led the research team that found the genes in Svalbard, what humans have done through the excess use of antibiotics is accelerate the rate of evolution, creating resistance strains that never existed before. These findings have been published in the journal Environmental International. Well guys, I'm not too sure about you, but I'm not letting anyone cough anywhere near me ever again. Can you throw me that Lysol over there? I'm carrying Lysol wherever I go. Thank you. better. All right, now that that's settled, for now it's time to respond to some comments from our video. Polar Vortex returns, but this time it will be worse. AS and KS Gotcha said, does this mean I can make fresh ice cream outside? Sure, just don't use the yellow snow. Super Gamer said, no, the time traveler on Apex TV said that in February there was a snowstorm that hit the Midwest that will be the biggest in history. Wow, okay, so apparently no, the time traveler is a real time traveler, guys. <laughs> Who could have predicted a snowstorm? Not me. Marla House said, almost as cold as my wife's feet in the middle of the night. True. I mean, I've never felt your wife's feet in the middle of the night before, but maybe you guys should get a thicker blanket or something. <laughs> Tedious person said, Charlotte, I'm pretty sure IO is in Toronto, so all of us will stick together. Yes, we are in Toronto. Anyone want to build an igloo after work? Me. Kelly Track said, this is nothing related to the video, but I love your hair, Charlotte. No need to yell. 
Thank you. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. Click that playlist to keep watching IO. And like, before you do, just make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in the next video. Sound good? Bye.